accused sexual predator Nathan chasing horse awaits a decision from the Nevada Supreme Court. That's after his lawyer argued for the case to be dropped and a prosecutor argued against that. Tonight we hear from alleged victims of the Dances with Wolves actor about how much a decision in this case will mean. I couldn't live with myself knowing if I stayed quiet and then everything just kind of exploded. Her voice heard at Nevada's highest court. She was once Corena Chasing Horse, considered a wife of Dances with Wolves actor Nathan Chasing Horse, until she left and spoke up after years of abuse she says she suffered. Now she is Ren Leon and one of two women identified as victims of the accused sexual predator in Clark County. This was someone that took a huge chunk of my life away from me because of my inability to be able to say no. And he took that option to have a no away from me for so many years. CCH's statements to the Bureau of Indian Affairs and on Facebook demonstrate the reason that she chose to has, have sex. Chasing Horses defense attorney Christy Holston claims both Leon and the second alleged victim never said no. It's one of her main arguments here at the Nevada Supreme Court on November 15th as Chasing Horse pushes for the 18 charges against him to be dropped. It was very nerve-wracking. Leon is here in the room just feet away. Made me feel sick. She says sexual abuse began when she was 14 as Chasing Horse, a self-proclaimed medicine man with a following known as The Circle, convinced her she needed to have sex with him to save her sick mother. It's never pleasant hearing that when you were 14 it's still considered um that you gave consent. Her mother, Melissa Leone, here by her side and concerned about Holston's tenacity. It makes you feel like the bully over there is going to win. Lynette Adams, the mother of the second alleged victim, is also here. I'm very devastated. I'm very hurt. I'm very betrayed in his assault on my daughter and then also his manipulation in the pain that he's caused in my life. Holston also argues prosecutors shouldn't have presented the grand jury with information about grooming. But these women who all left the circle say it's part of the mind games, leading alleged victims to believe they couldn't say no. This is very much um, part of spiritual abuse. Nathan was able to, over periods of time, with certain people, he's able to take control. Chasing Horse remains in jail in downtown Las Vegas while the Nevada Supreme Court makes its decision. What would it mean to you if the Supreme Court drops the charges? It would make... We feel like everything that we've done up until this point was for nothing. Now, if they keep the charges or keep most of the charges, what would that mean for you? Um, I would feel like at least something's being done. It's her voice that helped lead to Chasing Horse's arrest, which was followed by federal charges and then warrants in Montana and Canada. While she waits for the Supreme Court's decision, she says she is coping with trauma and trying to adjust to her new normal. It's so much beauty and so much hard all rolled into one, where it's this strange sense of gratitude, but also this feeling where I don't deserve it still. And... I think that's why I'm still fighting this so hard is like maybe maybe doing this for other people and doing this and speaking up, even though it makes me uncomfortable and even though it hurts, maybe it'll make it worth it. You know, Vanessa Murphy, 8 News Now. When will the Nevada Supreme Court make a decision? It could be any day now or it could take several months, we're told.